Is there secrets around here? Yeah, there are coins somewhere, I think. <laughs> I think they're on the other side, though. He's just like, oh, should I put... Uh-oh. <laughs> Should I have put on the the tuxedo so he says the thing? No, not yet. Uh, okay. I've heard that he says a thing if you're in. He does one of say those. different things. If you say if you're wearing Peach's uh, bride dress, he'll say, "Oh wow, you're looking really good there, Mario." <laughs> Excellent. Maybe is that the best one? Maybe then. Uh, I don't remember. If you wear the skeleton, then he says, "Oh, you're trying to scare me, Mario, huh?" What's this? There's a, like a skeleton costume that you can wear. It's the most uh, expensive costume in the game. That's uh, the one that costs 9,999 coins. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, we just got straight up gacked. Yeah. Epic. The epic own. <laughs> Watch as Bowser just destroys Libtard Mario. <laughs> I would watch that video. Me too. <laughs> there were, <laughs> I don't know when he plays a few weeks ago, they were talking about that. Type of video. Ben Shapiro destroys the <laughs> yeah. tard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love those uh, titles. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, you remember last week how you said, "Well, are they gonna have a mecha sword?" Yeah, it's true. They do. Excellent. Obviously. It's like it's the age of Ultron. Indeed. Or was Ultron a not the Marvel one? But was there a? You mean Voltron? Yeah, Voltron. That's how I'm thinking of. Okay. I probably shouldn't waste those hearts. Instead, Proud. I will get it as a boy. This boy. Give me this boy. He's a thick boy. Ugh. Look at the size of this one. Absolute unit. <laughs> oh no! Ah, uh, it's like Splatoon. Yeah! The first of it actually does very much remind me of Splatoon. Yeah, the first boss from the campaign. Mm -hmm. I mean, it even makes like the clinky noises like Splatoon when you hit the parts. Yeah. I am fine with this. Indeed. I very much enjoy Splatoon. Yeah, me too. I didn't play very much in the second one though. Not definitely not as much as I did in the first one. Yeah, Salmon Run is really good. Yeah. That's like all I would play practically, unless there was a good, comp unless Salmon Run was closed and there was a good competitive mode open like a. Uh, I don't know, they're all pretty good in uh, Splatoon mm -hmm. 2, actually. None of them felt stupid. Was Salmon Run any good with, like, um, randos at all? Like, would you be too reliant on your team to not suck to play it? Because um, I barely played it at all. Yeah, you you can sometimes, but it's... You have different ranks. Yeah. So as you get... As you perform better, you'll be matched with better people. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a big of a deal. That big of a deal. Yeah. You can be pretty reliant on your team, but I've actually found good things out for my team before, mm -hmm. like strats and stuff, so. Yeah. Cause it's kinda like zombies in a way, with more special rounds. Mm -hmm. So like, when there's the chum creatures or whatever they're called and a ton of them come, yeah. it's like, oh, group up on this spot so that we can funnel them, or, yeah. oh, when this when the giant mothership comes down, use the, the killer whale on it to shoot it, to kill it before it even can reach mm -hmm. the nest and all that. Maybe I'll play some more Splatoon at some point. Soonish, because I, I finished Uncharted 4 and I'm looking for games to play again, so I just started playing Metroid Prime 2 again, actually, because I'm like, I got the Metroid itch again, so I think I'm just going to play Prime 2 now, since I haven't played Prime 2 very much. So I'm playing through that now. But after that, I don't know what I'm going to play. So, maybe I'll play some Splatoon. Yeah, if you go on, on, I think I'd be able to join you, right? Probably. I don't know how bad the Nintendo <laughs> service is. Yeah. That's supposed to get better now that it's going to be paid. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Indeed. But yeah, I think I'd join you mm -hmm. if I knew you were online. Yeah. Especially if we were playing, well I'd play any mode, but especially Salmon Run. Because I've been kind of wanting to play that again. Yeah. Because it was so fun, and I the only reason I quit was I got obsessed with Overwatch. Yeah. I wasn't bored with Salmon Run at all. I would, in fact, almost every weekend, because it was a, it would change different days, so it wouldn't even be every Saturday, sometimes it'd be on a, a Sunday or a Friday. Mm -hmm. And so I'd always like be like, oh, can't wait. Mm-hmm. So 
decide to be playing like every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Get him. And there's also the new DLC that I haven't played at all. That's not even out yet. Oh really? No. Oh, okay. The Actoling, you mean? Yeah. That's not out yet. That's not until like June or July. Okay. Well, I'll probably play as an Octoling when it comes out, since I'm on Team Marina, because mm -hmm. she's not a disgusting creature. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I am also Team Marina. Why is it my my tentacalian waifus can never win? <laughs> Indeed. Because Mari, she was on a streak, actually, I think, right? But then she... Or no, I mean Callie. Callie was on the streak. Callie, I don't remember. Callie's the black no, closed no. one. Is she? I don't know. I don't remember. I forget. They're all, they're all the same. It's been so long. Jeez. All octo or no, all inklings look the same. That's right. You heard me. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, the the black and, and pink one, I think, is Callie. Mm -hmm. Um, I was on usually her team, and I think she was on a streak, but then she lost the final one again, which was her versus Mari. Mm -hmm. I was like blast, and now Marina can never win against Pearl apparently, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Indeed. Especially because Marina usually has the better teams, too. Yeah. But I think people just want to support, like, a hideous gremlin. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> people just like gremlins. Which is surprising to me, because I would think, with all this waifu hype, that waifu power would be mm. on the rise. Yeah. Especially black waifus. They're, they're a rarity. We gotta add some diversity into our waifu pool. I only know, like, two black waifus. There's Marina, and then there's the one from ARMS. Oh, uh, twin, twin tell? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Them. There are some darker skin girls in Fire Emblem. Like, yeah. Uh, Flavia. I don't even know if they're considered or, black, uh, though. Rinka. Yeah, I don't know either. Is Rinka... I mean, that would be that would be good for my, uh... My libtard license. <laughs> my uh... libtard license? <laughs> yeah. Is that an official thing now? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Because I should, I should have one then. Indeed. But, uh, because Rinka is my, uh, birthright waifu. Uh-huh. Because Kagro is a troll, apparently. So I switched to Rinka. Really? Yeah, I'm doing a new playthrough where I, I romance her. Why Why did you switch off of Kagro? Because at the end it's like, well... Oh, yeah, because it's like, oh, yeah, you don't really care about each other or whatever. Yeah, you guys don't get along and never talk. Okay, have fun. <laughs> <Goodbye>. Yeah, <laughs> it was so stupid. Yeah, it's like, what the devil? <laughs> I mean, she's perfectly fine otherwise, but yeah. I feel like that's what's only Yeah, I ending. picked her for my waifu too, mostly because of her breast size, but... I yeah. Mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what attract... I mean, that's what usually happens, is like, the, the boobs attract me, and then yeah, if yeah. they're at least somewhat passable personality... <laughs> yeah. Or, well, usually what happens is, like, a lot of them have awesome boobs, mm -hmm. so then I yeah, can all, actually all, choose the yeah, one that I all, like. Yeah, all the good girls usually have decent-sized boobs, at least. Yeah. Except for maybe, like, Cordelia. Are we on the moon? Yeah, we're on the moon. Yeah, Cordelia is super famous, and, uh... But she's got, like, one of the she's smallest She's famously boobs. flat. Yeah. She's a fraud. She's got a good butt, though. Mm -hmm. As good as Tharja, though. I think Tharja's got the most famous Fire Emblem butt. Yeah, but just because of the statue, though. Yeah. She's got the, the best Fire Emblem butt, and probably Camilla's got the, the best boobs. I don't know. I'd say it's between Camilla and Kagero, especially yeah. with the Easter Kagero. Um, oh. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> especially with I was the, hoping to do like a, a moon jump across yeah, that gap, and, uh -huh. but the moon physics actually screwed me because yeah. I didn't hit the ground in time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, like with Kagero versus Camilla, the... Um, the Easter event definitely makes it a lot more of a difficult choice to make. Yeah. Yeah. And I like in video games that have story to kind of, like, somewhat mentally roleplay. Mm -hmm. And so the en the, wa the ending for your waifu being you guys, like, aren't together. <laughs> that, As opposed to every other girl who is like, oh yeah, you're just, like, bone and she's the most loyal female that could exist. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to stand for this. Even though it's almost unfortunate for Kagro because they've... It's like Cordelia in a way. How could they... She loves Krom, but she can never be with him. Yeah. It's like Kagro can never be happy. She's forced to... Unless maybe she romances Ryoma. Maybe that works out. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Maybe but... What about like Saizo? Since they confirmed canon dated before, didn't they? Yeah, and they both serve Ryoma. Mm -hmm. Which is the reason why that she was never with the corn so 
Yeah, I assume that might work out better.